Today we're going to be diving into the new drums by Mixwave. It's the Tony Royster kit and they sound awesome. What's up y'all, my name is Forrest Whitehead and I created this channel to help songwriters and producers produce better sounding records at home. And today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite drum kits out there. And I was excited whenever I got the email by Mixwave that they created a new kit and it was available for download. This here is the Tony Royster Jr. kit. The cymbals sound great. I feel like Mixed Waves options with cymbals sound better, especially than things like that you get from Slate. And things like that. It's really cool. There's some different options here. There's just some options for tones in here that I feel like you don't get everywhere. Let me just lay in a groove here real quick. All right, definitely not perfect there, but we'll use the magic of some quantize to get us right. Awesome, let me just loop this up for a little bit. Let's go ahead and dive through some of these presettings. So that's what they sound like unmixed. Pretty cool. And this is all in the middle, it says. Try the tight kit. So the snare really changes up on this one. Dig how that sounds. Here's the vintage dry kit. And again, that snare is definitely layered with something else. I just love the mixed layers that they give you. Other drum programs out there that you've heard of, maybe called Superior or Steven Slate 5, I use them, I love them. But these mixed wave kits just take a little less processing to sound this good. I just love the presettings that come within this same kit here. Thick tape. Sounds pretty good. Big and roomy. I mean, come on. This is what, okay, just to compare this, this is what the avatar in Superior Drummer wants to be. And it probably could be with a little bit of processing. Let me pull up Superior Drummer just for a little comparison here. And I love Superior Drummer. As you can tell, I've got several of their, you know, SDX libraries like Big Supporter, Big User, and the Tune Track stuff. Um, but I just noticed as I heard, I think it was either this kid. So, this is Superior that we're listening to now. And this is kind of a similar kit. When you come back to the Mixwave stuff, 
it just punches on a whole different level. And I know this snare is just a little different, but let's see here. Oh, wow. That's nice. I just love the, the reverbs. We go in here, they have uh, different mixers options. So as we scroll, it's like, you know, the different paths of uh, bus mixing that they have going on here. And this is where you change the triggers of the, the velocity, or if you want to change the mapping of the drum. But man, that kit even right there. Yeah, I put on the big roomy preset and then I changed the snare and I put it on this a Ooh, that's just nice. Love the hats as well. Let's see what other, okay. Where's that mini hat? I feel like the symbols alone like just stand out. Point being, you could buy one of these mixed wave kits, doesn't matter which one you get, you know, whether it be, you can see I have all three, doesn't matter if it's the Thomas Pridgen kit or the Tony Royster kit, um, you know, or the Morio DePlanter kit. I mean, all of them sound great, but this Tony Royster Jr. kit, man, I feel like it just gives you some, some layers that you don't get out of the box with just any $100 set of drums that you get. You know, and that's the point, you know, some of the SDXs on Superior Drummer, they're, you know, well beyond $100. And I think I picked up this kit for $100. So if you're, if this is the first drum kit someone were purchasing outside of Logic stock drums or anything stock for that matter, there's no doubt that this would be a good buy. I hope Mixed Wave will at least see how excited I am about these, these kits. I mean, I've been producing music for you know over a decade now with software, buying every kind of drum software out there. I mean, if you take a look at this session, you know, I've I've got, you know, the native drums, Moto Drummer, Superior Drummer, GGD drums, Steven Slate. I've used all of them very extensively, and the Mixed Wave stuff just, you know, really stacks up against any of them and I feel like you know compares a lot better and just stands out of the mix whenever you put them up against uh I don't know throw any other software drums against these kits and I think you'll see that the mixed wave kits just sound great